Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to hop on here really quickly today and share with you guys my CVS couponing haul for this week. Um, so what I was able to do was I had $10 and extra bucks when I started out. So if you're, if you're new to CVS couponing, um, obviously you won't have those, um, but, but it's still a great place to start. And then you earn extra bucks and you'll have those for next time when you do go shopping. So what I was able to get was I bought two of the Garnier Fructis shampoos and they were on sale two for seven this week. And then um, everybody that has a CVS account should have gotten $1 off two coupon. So, and then the paparazzi nail polish is two for five and I didn't have any coupons for that. So my total was $7 for the, for the shampoo and then plus five for the nail polish. So a total of $12. And then I was able to take the $1 coupon off for the shampoo. So that brought me down to $11. And I had $10 in extra bucks that I started out with. So I was able to spend that. And I ended up spending $1 out of pocket plus tax. And then I earned back $8 in extra bucks because you get $4 back for the fructis. And then you get $4 back on the nail polish. So that means I have $8 for my next transaction, whatever I choose to buy. And I'm planning on going back again this week um, and, and spending that $8 towards something else. So now if you're new to couponing at CVS, um, you, could, you could break it down and do your transactions separately just so you spend less out of pocket. Um, so what I would recommend doing if you're new to CVS um, you go in and you buy the, the two Garnier Fructis. They are two for seven. And then, like I said, if you have a CVS account, you should have a $1 off two coupon there. So that would take it down to $6. So you would pay the $6 out of pocket and then you would earn back $4 and extra bucks. So then you go back and you do your next transaction. You would buy the two paparazzi nail polish. They're two for five then you can use the $4 you earned on the fructis. So um, it's $5 and then you would take the $4 off for the extra bucks and then you would pay just $1 out of pocket and then you would get back four more. So out of pocket, if you do the two separate transactions, out of pocket you'd be spending six and then one, so $7 out of pocket. Um, and then you would have $4 to spend towards your next transaction. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Um, I'm planning on going back to CVS later on in the week and doing another haul. And um, also I'm planning on going to Walgreens and I might go to Dollar General this week. I'm not entirely sure. I just have to see how much time I have. So I just wanted to hop on here and share that with you guys. Hopefully it helps you out and you're able to, to save a little money. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below. And um, don't forget, please like and subscribe. Thank you.